What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a gun review. I've never done a complete gun review on my channel and I really want to see more people using this gun because I feel like it is very viable in a lot of situations. It is a pocket juice cannon, okay? So the gun we're going to be looking at today is the MDR. Now the MDR, right? It shoots the exact same rounds. It shoots, what do you call this? 308, 762 by 51. Okay. It shoots the exact same rounds. It shoots M61, M62. These rounds, or the M80 rounds, you know, you can also go budget and go a little M80. But this is literally a pocket juice cannon. Now, this is my build. I just created it. I didn't have a preset before, but I just created this, this build and it. It's maintaining around 100 recoil. Now with the juice cannon, you can only lower it to around 110 or so. And with this, you can go even lower. Now I understand what you're saying. You're saying, okay, this is not for long range. That is true. However, you can use it and it is viable in short range situations. So longer range, you can use the site that I put on here. I use the hammer site with the you know, reflex on top. It's a very common site. You know, a lot of people use it. That's the lo for long range combat. Now, when it comes to the DT, some things you're going to have to look at is that it's very pricey. Very pricey as in it costs a lot of money to not only make, but buy ammo for. M61 and M62 are one of the most expensive rounds in the game, but they are also one of the best rounds in the game. So... When it comes down to it, the DTMDR is very expensive, and I would only use this unless you're somewhat of a higher level, probably above 30 or 40. And I would not use this until you have a good, well-established stash size. Uh, like I said, the DTMDR is very expensive, and I would watch out for things like that. Now, going back to my build, I have the DTMDR, like I said, and I pointed out the hammer earlier, but I want to kind of explain what I did here. Okay, so normally on the stock builds, it does not come with an under under rail, right? So I added one of those right, uh, right here, you know, the M-Lock 1 4.1 inch, and I added one, and I as well added the best foregrip in the game, I believe, RK2. It provides, you know, the most amount. It provides minus five recoil. It is very good. It keeps your gun stable. Keeps your gun, uh, you know, be shot at full auto. Now, that's one thing I do want to point out. Full auto with this gun is viable. Is it useful as much as the SA-58? I don't know. Okay. It is usable. You know, the recoil is very, very good. It doesn't kick as much as the SA-58. However, the SA-58 also has the ability to go to 50 rounds, unlike the MDR, which can only go to 20. So with this, you got to keep in mind with ammo, and you just got to keep track, right? It is, like I said, it's a very expensive when it comes to ammo, so you might want to watch out for that. Now, when it comes down to the silencer, I recommend a silencer. This gun is very, very loud, okay? So what I did for the silencer, I added a DT mount and a hybrid 46 silencer, right? So you, those two, you know, combine to make the silencer for this gun. Now, lastly, about the build, I have the uh, IR flashlight on the side. This helps with hip firing. Right? Hip firing is something very viable in Tarkov, and it is something that uh, a lot of players use, especially if they you know, are used to somewhat you know, crosshair in the middle of their screen, such as Counter-Strike or something like that. It is very useful, close quarters, perfect, and I promise you, it's going to do good. And that just wraps up the DT MDR build. I know it's short and sweet video, but I want to get this out there. I want to see more people using this, all right? I, I hardly ever see people using this, and I want to say it's because of the price of the gun. However, the SA-58 is basically just a bigger and longer version of this gun. However, I think this DT MDR is a very nice, I call it the pocket juice cannon, and I think it is something that players should start using more, and I would love for you guys to try out my build. If you guys want, I'm going to leave this up here for a bit, zoom in on this, and uh, you guys can steal this build from me and try it out yourself. So yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. on stream, twitch.tv slash Love you. Guns are on the